What's going on guys, Spartan Willie here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the DF11 base skins for Football Manager 2021, including how to install them. Alright, so I'm just in my football manager now and I do have the DF11 face pack installed as you can see here But the face is really small So I'm going to show you in this video how to install the DF11 skin which will add the panels uh, If you'd like to install the panels individually, I have a video on that It's in the description in the top right right now And also if you want to know how to download the DF11 face pack That's also going to be in the description and in the top right right now um, and one more plug, I'm working on an Australian database right now called the Australian Premier League. It's in its very early stages, but if you want to check that out, it's also in the description. It's on the Steam Workshop, just subscribe. That being said, let's get into the video. Alright, so you are going to need a little program called WinRAR. Um, download a link for that will be in the description, it'll take you to this page. And then you just choose whatever version applies to you, so whatever country and beat your system is. Okay, so once you've got WinRAR, we can start looking at actually downloading the DF11 base skins. So there's two types of skins. There's the default one, which is just your default skin, and transparent. So the transparent one, as you can see here, it says is ideal with stadium backgrounds. Um, if you want to know how to install stadium backgrounds, I do have a video on that as well. So that'll be in the top right and in the description below. But yeah, there's also three position, uh, face positions available. So left, center, and right. Um, we'll get into that a bit later, but also another handy thing is the instant result button is also included. So this is a packed skin, I highly recommend it. Um, don't just get the individual panel, get the whole skin because it can. it's just all good things. But yeah, so download whatever version, both versions if you want. If you don't have stadium packs, I'd probably just get the base skins. So just hit download and it'll take two a media file where you can just turbo download. Okay, so once you've installed WinRAR and downloaded this base skins folder, we want to navigate to our football manager directory. So if we just open up a file explorer, um, it's on screen right now what the default one is. Uh, if you've changed it, obviously it's going to be where you change it to. If you want to know how to change it, again, another video. I know I keep saying it, but I do have videos and all this stuff, so just to avoid any um, questions in the comments, that'll be in the description as well. But all we want to do is copy it out of the description, paste it in, and then if we just go to this user part here, get rid of that, and type in whatever your user is, so whatever your user is on your computer. Mine's literally just admin, so I'm going to hit enter. Uh, if you have a skins folder, great, click on it. If you don't, you can literally just make one, so I don't have one, so just go skins, open it up, and then double click on this file here, yep, yeah, and then just get it all, and where is it? Oh, I already have two open, that's fine. And just drag it in. And just like that, it's installed. These two files we'll get into a bit later, but we're just going to open up our game now and have a look. Okay, so you know when you've done it, if you go Preferences, go Advanced at the top here, and then click on this drop down and go Interface, and then see in this first um, sort of tab called Skin, drop down and you should have all these options. So I'm just going to load up a little, go back into our game here with Victory. Look at these loading times, how good's FM 2021 by the way. Uh, go to preferences and we're just going to select one of these skins. So uh, DF11 dark default left, because left's just sort of, it makes sense to have the face to the left. But I'll show you what each of the options look like. So left, middle, right, and um, we'll go into some other options as well. But if we just have a look at left, I see Marcus Ro Marco Rojas, Kiwi Messi, Jay Barnett. Look how much better it looks than what it looked like at the start of the video. Um, the panels are beautiful. Now I'll show you what the other couple options look like. Alright, so this is uh, the purple center. So this is actually pretty good. Um, I really like this. So we got Lee Broxham here in the middle and his stats to the left. So it's, it looks clean. It looks clean. So we're going to go into one of the other colors and go on the right now. Alright, so Callum McManaman, one of our great new signings here. So this is the one on the right. Uh, it's got a bit more of like a sort of a yellow cyan tinge to it. I like it. Um, but yeah, so that's sort of your three options in the default one. I will install the transparent one and give you a look. It'll be the exact same installation process. Um, I'll give you a look with what it looks like. 
Okay, so I've just installed a sturdy mega pack just for this video. Um, I put the mega pack in the description below, it's amazing. Um, to have it already out for 2021 is insane. But as you can see here, this looks fantastic with the DF11 skin. Um, how good is that? Like, it, well, it doesn't work for the database because of my database victory move stadiums, but oh, wow, that's that's amazing. Um, that's, that's our stadium if you didn't know. But if we go to, we'll have a look at some of the other ones as well. So you see there's like a purple tinge to it. Um, I'm getting a bit carried away here. We are, I'm getting carried away with the skin, but as you see here, it does work with the panels as well. And as you see here on the right, it's again with the, the yellow cyan type of tinge on it. I've got to say the dark skin with the center face panel looks fantastic. But anyway, we're going to cover a couple more things in this video. Okay, so I've loaded back up the DF11 left dark skin. Uh, as you can see here, and if we go to a staff member, so I got Frank Lampard here as an example, his face is sort of still in the middle. So in the skins folder that we just dragged in, there was sort of this photo here. If we go to, where is it? The dark default left and go panels and go non-player because it's like a staff member. It actually has a staff optional panel left side. So you can switch the panel to the left side so to do that, I recommend making a backup. So I'm going to make a backup here called Center. Uh, all you have to do is cut, cut, uh, cut or copy. I recommend cutting. And it's putting in there just in case you want to switch it back or it doesn't work or whatever. It's good to have a backup. Uh, you're just going to copy that out. Go back here and paste it. So basically all you're doing is replacing this one with the one that's in here. And as you can see, if we're going to switch it back, we just put this back in there. Now, if we go back to our game and we reload the skin, so if we just, I don't know, um, could probably just do this. So just reload skin at the bottom here. He switches to the left. So it's easy as that. That's just if you want to have your staff members' faces to the left of the screen as opposed to the center. Just a small little fix, but that's how you do it if you're wondering. Just as a little side note, if you don't have the reload skin button at the bottom, just untick this first use caching to decrease page loading times button and just tick the second one and then it comes up and just hit that. Okay, that's the tutorial for today. Um, please leave any comments down below uh, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. If you're new to the channel, it would mean heaps if you stick around for a bit, watch a couple other tutorials. Um, yeah, subscribe for more Foot Manager content, like the video if I helped you out, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.